don't think we will get it either. We won't either. Double nominee tonight in Male Artist of the Year and High Selling Album. The album Wired went to number one on the country aria and iTunes country charts. Curves single spent. Ladies and gentlemen, legend, casting legend. Hey, feel it, mate. I feel very relaxed because this week's been fantastic. I, I, I'm hungry by the end of the year. I was really coming up here. Yeah, I just. Rocks, my manager. Um, been wonderful going out there on the road and, uh, and sharing all these experiences together. Thank you to everyone that voted and all the finalists. Jingo's, I didn't think I had an actual chance in this, to tell you the truth. Thank you to my beautiful girl for being a good sounding board, Laurel. Every time I take a, a song to her, she normally says, Well, that's crap. Change. My first video clip, it was black and white and silent. <laughs> I seem to remember a mullet, but it wasn't yours. I had a mullet, basically. I think I did. Anyway, anyway, very exciting times. Let's take a look at the finalists for video clip of the year. And the golden guitar goes to the guys. Spirit of the end zone. Four, year, four years ago, I found a young fella who was just finishing high school who had a real passion for cinematography. Over the past four years, we've become brothers in arms, pushing each other's boundaries and making the best music videos we can. Josh Favaloro has been a massive part of every video I've directed in the last couple of years. Leave the to you, all you people here at the festival because I've walked around Tamworth quite a bit in the last few days and I just want to thank you all so much for uh, respecting my privacy and leaving me. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much. Oh, I do, I do. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Bluegrass recording of the year goes to...
Singing Shoes by Pete Denny. This second win tonight takes Pete Dennehy's golden guitar tally to five. But uh, I, I really uh, want to thank Dad for this too. Dad introduced me to an old horseman from Benalla in northeast Victoria named Reg White. And uh, Dad knew Reg when he was a little kid and, and I knew Reg later on. And uh, he had uh, Clydesdale horses and he worked with a dray around town. And that's, that's why I, I wrote this song, because of the sound um, horses, horses make on a sealed road. He shifts his seat, remember how it felt to sit astride. A favourite mare at night when things were hushed. His seat was firm and solid and his bridle hand was light. And he never lost his nerve any time the cattle rushed. He's lived through years of musters and loved the outback life. Who's been affects the dust storms and the flies? He fully lived the life he chose, relives it every night. Chasing one more muster under western skies. Magnificent time. Um, I think I'm going to call myself the Sunny Governor from now on. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it. It's really easy writing songs with Troy. He just rings up and says, oh, I've got a few ideas for songs. Kind of come down and he comes down, and uh, he's usually got the song mostly finished. He just needs a, someone to cook some spaghetti for him, <laughs> open a bottle of wine, and then a cup of tea, and then change a few lines here and there, and we've got the song. <laughs> receiving end of the role of renown. I've never done that. You are one of the greats and you were inducted in the role of renown in 2010. Thank you very much Max. Yes, I'm very honoured to have a plaque on the rocks outside the trick at the front here. One of 48 other artists including the last year's winners Lee and Ray Kernigan. Yes, well done. Uh announce that the winner of the 2016 Australasian Country Music Roll of Renown is Graham Connors. CMAA for the honour of uh, the golden guitars and uh, uh, everything that goes with that. Uh, business relationships, uh, Phil Manning, who was my representative for many, many years. Happy than the tropics, I have on my lap. Bush poetry and he read it to me and he was an instigate uh, for me for the love of the bush and their songs. Well you went on to win four golden guitars and you have your handprint set in the concrete of the hands of fame and you're on the roll of renown. Castwell's <laughs> win takes his golden guitar tally to seven. This is Manfred's first golden guitar win. The life we chose, we lived it every night. Chasing one more mustard under western skies. He lived through years of musters and loved the outback life through spin effects, the dust storms and the flies. Thank you so much. This is uh, 
This is really special. I've always loved bush ballads. It was the problem was that being a Pommy, I didn't have an Australian accent, so I just to write them for other people. <laughs> um, but after 50 years of living in Australia, I figure I, I earned the right to sing bush ballads now. I still since my mum and my auntie Caroline came up here with me in a little car and um, we drove up just from Grafton, uh, pulled up for a few wee stops here and there and I went down to my studio to try and start writing songs and I opened my mouth and not much came out and I didn't know whether it was my voice that defined me or my songs or who I was, I'm not going to cry. <laughs> Who I was, um, I don't know. Not much came out. I persevered. Um, I went and took some therapy and all that sort of stuff. Did everything the doctor said. 
don't go out and sign. I, I miss that a lot, not signing and talking to people. I love that, but they said not to do it. Does your voice define you? To me, it does. I felt like a wounded lion. So, Roxanne, my wife, Laurel, sent me off to Boston, and I couldn't speak for six weeks. And um, the first thing I got to say to my wife when I finally could talk was, I love you. And uh, this means more to me than you could ever know. <laughs> Good. Have a good night or an okay night? Great, great night. Great, great night. night. Tamworth. They're ready to party. You know, it's just, it's just funny talking about back in the day when I first came to Tamworth. To hear Troy say that he's come here, I think I heard for 35 years. It's not bad for a 38 year old bloke. <laughs> How many years have you been coming here, Troy? This I first came when I was 10. And uh, so that's 22 straight now for me. 22 years. That's a must. And that just goes to show how many years you have to turn up and do level, uh, you know, such a quality level of work to get that illustrious pat on the back, the role of renown, uh, these milestones. Uh, it's, it, there's so many people that are indebted to this town uh, and this country music festival and these country music fans. We love you so much. This is such a special night for us. What age were you when you first came to Tamworth? Oh, I'm not sure, because I would give away my age. But I've been coming for 24 years. I know they say never ask a woman her age, so... Uh... No, it's all right. I turned 30 the other day. I'm really bad at this. I've never been good at it. <laughs> yeah. I've never been good at it. Um, I don't win awards, and um, it means a lot to me when I do, so... Thank you so much. Um, there's so many people I want to thank. I'm sure I'm going to miss somebody because there's so many people that have been involved in my career. I'll keep this really short, <laughs> just like me. I'm not going to cry, Harvey, I know. I've been off the grog for about nearly a month and I think tonight might change that. Yes. <laughs> um, I, I, I remember talking to Johnny Young at a radio station one day and he said to me, I was sitting with Lionel Rose and he said, I want to write a song with you Lionel. He said, what do you want to say to the people of Australia? And all Lionel said was thank you. All I'd like to say to everyone here tonight is thank you um, for such a big honour of Album of the Year. The Freedom Ride, I know a lot of people don't know much about it. Go and read about it. Have a read about what went on. It's an amazing story. Um, it's something that I was very proud to be able to share with everybody. I hope they maybe talk about it in schools one day because it's, uh, it's something that shows what strength and resilience can do.
Thank you very much. Appreciate it.